Hey there, it's me, Red Knight, and welcome back to Food Street. And I'm going to be showing off a very, very, very nice design indeed. Now, with this actual dino theme that is almost over and done with and soon to be extinct, at least for this year, we had quite a few wonderful designs out there within the restaurant sphere of creativity. And of all of the restaurants I've seen, I think so far this has to be the number one. Now, when I think of dinosaurs, I always think of my favorite movie for dinosaurs called Jurassic Park. And I love that one. I've watched every single movie that has ever been released for that one and it's still a big top movie for me to go and watch and trying to think of a design that would focus on this or emphasize this is something that I thought about but could not actually create myself but somebody else has actually done it for me and I'm in love with this design and I'm totally shocked how it actually looks because it is blooming fantastic if I do say so well let's start looking at little bits and pieces first of all there's a lot of glitching involved with this one as well and a lot of very unusual aspects now if we look at this bit here we've got the actual lava volcano there again with the beautiful dinosaurs flying around the eggs on the side you've got that moving lava effect as well which has been blended in very nicely and it comes out underneath the volcano and it slides off to the side you'll see it's actually fenced in you'll see that there's the dinosaur footprints within there as well so a wonderful glitching job here and I really do like this one as we move around from this area you'll see a bit of an adventure camping area as well a nice mix of autumn trees, the large mushrooms, the Chinese archway, the undersea swing there, and some of the beautiful tents and other pieces as well. So a really, really good combination there, and I do like it. I like the break up of the trees. I like the fact that everything is kind of mixed into the wall pieces as well. Uh, it does look good. But one thing that did impress me is the actual train. Look at that. Now, every adventure park needs a train and this one has it you've got a train there with the barrels being used as well you're using the archways from the actual halloween event as well uh, you've got fireplaces added into those barrels as well this is a really 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 good design and i like it you can even see the drawbridge being used over there as one of those pieces which allows you to have the lamb on the back as well with the actual kind of like portcullis effect and it really is good look at that detail look at that you've got the valentine arches in there as well which is really good and i love the way this design the perfect little shed for the train that will be zooming off very soon right again over here in the corner we've got another wonderful design now i'm totally in love with this one when i saw this i thought oh my god that is really really good and it is super fantastic if you look at this one you can actually see you've got the cow shed there you've got the actual achievements cupboard you've got the wall pieces all joined in together now inside this single building as well are all of the livestock so all of the livestock that you've got within the game are actually combined within this one building wow like uh, seriously wow 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 I, I really wish i had the understanding and ability to be able to blend in more than two items if i could combine everything together like that i could think of some very nice designs i would copy and this would be one of them the ability to actually put everything into one space and then still be able to redesign your restaurant is very nice i like the use of the rocks as well you've got the camping fire there as well you've got the nice trees we've got within the game uh it does create a very nice adventure area you've got the mr and mrs santa gnome there i like that as well so christmas effect in this design undersea water swing you've got the actual archway uh, it does look really good but what impresses me the most and I've come to understand this is where they are all located. Every single machine is basically a form, so it's a two by two. And I'm being told that all of the machines are in that one building. It's just like the TARDIS, it's bigger on the inside. Literally. 
okay I I am totally shocked how do you manage to do that so how she actually created this design combining everything into the one area is totally beyond me and I, I loved it I really really do like look at the fences oh my god look at that using the actual Jack of the Beanstalk style fences there those beautiful green stalks there combined it in with the actual uh, Halloween fence as well with those wooden pillars as well like really 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 good like that is super cool as a design option and it really is nice as we scroll on around you get the dinosaur gate you go through the dinosaur gate into the safari tables there again the actual log piles two log piles there with a tiki torch and look at the tiki torch connection they've been combined with the actual candy canes as well it looks like like oh my god like how do you do this i really wish i could do this oh my god it, it like Oh my god, it's beautiful. It really is good. Sliding around the game, you've got the meat stand there, and I love the option of the meat stand. There's actually two of these meat stands here, and there's two on the other side. Now, I think it really goes well with this actual dinosaur enclosure. Now, the dinosaur enclosure, again, uses those logs with the actual Halloween fences. Look at the combination here. Look at the way they've been blended in together. That is a lot of work and energy gone into this you've got the dinosaurs inside as well you've got the head entrance over there you've got one of the actual dinosaur pets moving around that we could get within the game and you've got that beautiful purchased option as well there with the little lady inside now how she's not been eaten i really don't understand obviously she is the dinosaur trainer so like you get horse whispers we've got a dinosaur whisperer so she must be she has to be but she's leaving now and she knows the secret secret exit. <gasps> wow, did you see that? She vanished. She must have used the fairy. Sliding on around the game, you'll see the other gate, you'll see the other meat as well, and the same kind of patterning as you go around. Good choice with the garden. I like it. You've got mushrooms in there. You've got the topiary. You've got your autumn trees mixed in. You've got palm trees. It, it literally does give me the impression that I am looking at a safari park. But let's go and give you the piece de resistance. This is stunning look at that beautiful mountain and i mean look at that mountain like you need to zoom out to get a whole feel of this thing and it's like wow 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 like i i'm totally blown here now i understand all of these rocks are glitching together and angled in such a way that they do create this very very nice design look at the actual pieces of the water there so you've got the actual dragon pool there with the dinosaur head as though the water's coming out of the dinosaur's mouth as well the dragon is slightly hidden you're using the actual water fountains there to show that the water is going down the side of the mountain. Now, all of this is flat. Every single piece is a flat. This is a flat surface here. Uh, but the way it's angled creates the feeling that it is actually a mountain. And I like it. You come down to the water again, that moving water option that goes around and around and around. You can see it like used on the side there, the actual still water path pieces as well. Like really, really, really good. Look at it. It looks fantastic. It goes all the way around as well and disappears off into the back distance there. Like, oh my God. Even the Halloween trees, the autumn trees, the topiary all mixed in there very, very nicely as well. In addition to the dinosaur pieces as well like this is a fabulous design and i totally am in love with this one and it oh my god like i saw this in the weekend and i was gobsmacked really gobsmacked it's the best dinosaur theme park i've actually seen to date now if you think you've got one that's better you need to come and show me and i hope it can come up to this standard and i hope you can actually come here and have a look now if you want to come and check it out you need to head on over to this hood and it's called kid balakid and then you come on down here to my young friend here she's a level 86 and you check her out and beautiful she is one of the best designers out there in the food street community she really really is good uh, the creativity the ability to put something together i'm not worthy and i'm actually bowing down now so i'm not worthy i'm not worthy to be even in your shadow but actually i would love to sit next to you if we ever get the chance in the future sit down next to you and then i would watch you redesign a restaurant and i would videotape every single motion talk to you chat to you uh, 
I'd even buy you a coffee in Starbucks. It, it, it's good. Your designs are absolutely stunning. And I hope you never, ever, ever stop making them. But one thing I would say, please tell me your secrets. I want to know your secrets. I will pay for them. I will send you some Kit Kats. I really will. But I love it. And I hope you do too. Now, if you do like this one, comment below as well. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, click the notification bell, and do tell your friends about the channel and the videos that are uploaded. But in the meantime, I will see you next time. And I will see you on Saturday from 9 a.m. till noontime, Japan Standard Time, for my next live stream and more giveaways. But either way, take care, have fun, and good designing. Remember, Halloween's around the corner, everybody. Bye now.